Ask how he felt about that. <laughs> Dude, more like ask Peter how he felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike didn't get to do anything, right? Yeah. So. Oh, man. If that's the job, okay. See, that one, okay. Remember when we were playing, <laughs> remember when we were playing, uh, when the game first came out, we were playing doubles at Super Arcade, and it was yeah, like yeah. me and Mike versus you and David, or like, um, I don't know. All the two-on-two -two stuff was like so much more interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. because, like, you know, especially in between the rounds, and then they would, the stream would cut to you, and then you just look at your <laughs> you're looking at your teammate like, really? <laughs> you're out of the family. You're not helping me at yeah. all. And Flo here going with a very potent team, Jin and Nina. We've already seen both of these characters on stream. Going up against Street Eleven, who's the really strong Gen player that we saw on the Canada team recently. But right now, oh, see, there it is. There, as soon as you see Nina build it up, that's the thing that gets so scary because... Whether she goes the high-low? Yeah, because if she gets with the high, then you're done. You get that ground bounce off of that counter hit build up. Yeah. It's actually one of the best ones, the one of the best counter hit build ups, setups. And Street 11, you know, not sticking to the traditional top tier in uh, Cross Tekken. Maybe he's got that hidden top tier, Xiao Yu and Lars, right? You don't really see a lot of either of these I think, two Is characters. that Lars or that Lei? I think that's Lei. Oh, Lei, right? Lei, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Even more obscure. <laughs> I mean, I would love to see him get Lei in, because Lei is one of the most interestingly crazy characters. Yeah. But let's see if he's he can get like, the character okay. in. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Lei has seven stances? Like something like that. Something there's like, like that. There's like 90 stances or whatever like that. And they all map into each other in different right. ways, right. you know? Very, very complicated, and yeah. I think if this game Ooh, wow. would have had a longer uh, lifespan, I don't know, could have really seen some cool stuff. It was really unfortunate right there that raw launch in the show, you just didn't need it there. It was really, oh wow, nice, good stuff. Okay, good damage on there, Ooh. trying to get in there and get some more. He's got the life lead, a significant life lead. With only 24 seconds left, he could have just kind of ran. Now he's really got to figure out a way to get Lei back in. It's crucial. Oh, that's going to do it. Wow. All right, good All right. stuff. Yeah. That's the thing about cross second, man. It doesn't matter if you have a lead, because <laughs> if you go in a little too hard, you know, like yep. right there, you know, he whiffs something, the guy neutral jumps. Punish, and that's it. You lost the life lead, and now you got your back to the wall. Which really just encourages, you know, turtling and just playing it super safe. Well, that's the thing about this game. The, 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 the risk reward, like the punishment you get right. for whipping moves like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you whip one move, and he's already lost yeah. a third of his life, and is to deal with this mix up. Right. And he could potentially kill him right here. Wow. Look. Oh, not quite. Yeah, okay, smart stuff. Yeah, Cross yeah, yeah. assault. Get now himself. he's just got to run. He's got to run. Yeah. Fortunately for Flo, he's got plenty of time. So he's going to get some good damage here, and he's probably even going to... Oh, no, he used all of his meter for the cross assault. Right. So he's not going to get anything off of that. So look at that. Oh. On the verge of defeat, but a great cross assault from Flo to bring life back to both characters. Dude, you got to go it. for it. There's zero reason to be dying with three bars in this game. <laughs> yep. It's just one of those ones where when you, if you lose with all three bars, you yeah, just look yeah, at yeah. yourself and you're yeah. just like, what did I do? Yeah. Going for that moon fireball. Oh, wow. Just walked into that stand light. So here we go. <laughs> what the? This character is so odd. Oh, wow, cross-up. <laughs> Very beefy cross-up there. So here we go. Oh, no. I nice try to escape, but then, yeah, and then Flo misses his link. And he's out of his damage gems. <laughs> oh, oh miss. And that's probably going to do it because he has enough meter for one switch, has enough meter for another switch, but doesn't even need it. 
And that's the thing about this game. Again, the danger factor is super high. So you go for something crazy like that uppercut yeah. that Street 11 did. It's just the risk reward factor on it is just too low. Lots of times it's better to do nothing. Yep. Oh, not a true block string. Got hit in between. Oh, wow. That was not quite sure about that EX. Though. So the nice thing about it is uh, the Tekken characters, their Tekken strings are different than chain combos. You can do them even when you whip. So he did his Tekken right. string. He did the EX wake up and the overhead missed, but the follow up jab still hit. So he was still able to combo after. Oh, okay. So. Okay, here we go. He's got the counter hit, so he's gonna get a juggle. Yeah, but he's not gonna tag and shout you. Ooh, switch switch the stats into something. <laughs> oh no, misses the tagging combo. Oh wow, but then Flo just got smacked by that. It's all or nothing now. Playing the zoning it. Wow, he's what? just gonna use the mirror really? to do oh, this. Wow. Huh? Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, but it's just really interesting. That's a lot of meter use. Dude, for, for like I, zero damage. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was worth it or not, but I mean, he maybe. He got the next opening, though. Luckily. It, it's a good way to send a message to Flo. You know, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I mean, if you just let Jin sit back and throw fireballs, especially a player like Flo, he will just right. sit back and throw fireballs. So. You saw Flo there charge up the counter hit, but he went low. He was trying to bait Street 11 to think he was going to go for the overhead counter hit again. And he's got the meter gem active, so extra meter. Oh, oh no, ambiguous cross yeah. up. Hits Very on the ambiguous. left. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> oh, still alive, still no level. Is he going to cross assault? Oh, he's just going to tank wow, out. Wow, and he did not get the full punish on that. Oh, that no. is... Does he have enough meter to kill him? Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Oh, oh no. Nice throw. Still, still alive. alive. Wake up, cross assault. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, but great counter there. Great counter. And all Flo's thinking to wow. himself right now is, thanks a lot, Jin. Thanks <laughs> I a know. lot for dude, helping me out. Dude, sometimes the AI goes <laughs> nuts and you're just like yeah get him oh <laughs> and you just sit back yeah and then other times like you just like back dashes and you're like dude hey do you think uh do you think some of it has to do with what the difficulty of the ai is set at uh i don't think so nobody's ever so. has anybody ever studied that that's a good question i'm not sure oh Ooh, got right behind him and that's taken for street 11 and now he's at match point over I think, flow I, I think flow's cracked like he was that round he was still thinking about the previous round man dude that little dash through that, that she did yeah good stuff good stuff caught him by surprise but here we go flow gets a throw in what's this, the setup he's got roll forward and you know he's got the punish that time it wasn't a direct punish of it see if it goes for overhead oh he still has the counter hit set up Ooh. but not anymore Oh, gets the counter hit. We can't convert it to anything. Throws out the EX. Good damage right here. And he's got... Oh, no. Tags, tags out Nina oh. after he gets the, the power boost. And he got that follow-up. I mean, he chased down the back dash. Unfortunately, wasn't able to convert the combo fully, but still is in a good position here. Oh! Uses the EX to get right through the overhead. Whoa. Throw. Not much uh, recoverable oh, health to take out. A good counter poke. Able to convert on that. Let's see how All much right. damage he misses the juggle though. I wonder if he was gonna tag into right back into Jin to see if he could have finished him off. Unfortunately, missed that hit. Well, Flo's still in control here. Time is running down. You gotta be careful. Oh, there you go. You, you have to be careful of that Xiaoyu overhead. It's one of the slower overhead, but you get a ground bounce off of it. You get the whole combo off of it, so. Definitely something you gotta watch out for. Ooh, no full punish. Those movement with Jin is just so good. 
Oh, here we come. Frame trap time, and he got it. Street 11 getting some decent damage here. He has one bar. He's gonna save it. Oh, ooh, no combo from Flo. Good anti air. Good anti air. Now he's gonna get the cancel. Look at this damage oh, here. No, drops the combo, though. Now here comes Flo, puts in Nina. Is he gonna charge the counter hit again? No. Nope. Oh, that time it crossed up. Oh no, that oh, was an Ross accident. Hank? That was an accident. He did not mean to do that. Oh, and that is going to take him out. Man, that was such a good match, too. Not sure what he was trying to do there, because if he was trying to go for an alpha counter, for example, Yo, he would have came out with a raw launch instead. That was that, that, was that Street Fighter 4 instinct focus. Yeah, maybe. Well, Flo, Flo goes to loser. Street 11 advances. Good match, though, right up until yeah. that moment.